Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, then you've chosen a wild day to jump on the bus. Because today is probably the most pivotal Chainsaw Man chapter review in my YouTube history. I was f***ing right that Denji was gonna try to eat starfish at the aquarium. This was the only theory that I've ever had that I put my entire bussy into. Whew. If you haven't already, I'm gonna need you guys to leave a big ol' thumbs up on this video. Maybe even drop a sub if you're feeling cheeky. Cause what other YouTuber covering Chainsaw Man could have called that Denji was gonna start eating starfish from the aquarium like a troglodyte? These types of predictions you can only find here at the Jake Jones Weeb Dojo. Now that I've gotten all of the, uh, the uh, penis gobbling out of the way, today's chapter of Chainsaw Man, chapter 115, while being a short one, we still have a lot to talk about. Fake Saw Man is the shystiest man of the year, Yoshida is somehow even shystier, Asa is depressed, and then Denji reconfirms why he's our best boy. But before we get into any of that, class is once again in session. I've linked the poll at the top of the description where you guys can vote what grade you think this chapter of Chainsaw Man should get, a, B, C, D, or F. Then in next week's chapter review video, we'll go over the overall chapter GPA of this chapter, as well as some of your guys' comments on this video down below. Speaking of which, let's just quickly look at your guys' thoughts on chapter 114. So about 250 people voted in last week's chapter review poll. If that was one of you guys, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. The next chapter review poll is live right now. We already have about 30 votes. And after crunching the numbers together, we get an average chapter GPA for chapter 114 of 3.5. 3.5 is like all A's and maybe two B's if you're taking a full seven course semester in college. So needless to say, it was another certified hood classic from Fujimoto. So how about we just look at some of your guys' comments now? My boy Hunter Ken, who has said some incredibly awesome and nice things to me this week, so shout out to him, said, Yoshida is just there to make things more complicated. I feel both angry and sad for Asa this chapter. She just wants people to know that she exists. And I totally feel him on that one. For the past few weeks, Asa's kind of been like a comedic relief you're supposed to kind of be frustrated with her character but just remembering all of the shit she's been through and all of the blunders that have caused inconveniences for those around her like picking up a cat leading to her mother's death i'm also certain she blames herself for yoru going full-on you know trench coat mode on the school so even though she's been kind of silly lately she's still a really tragic character and then this chapter as well when we get into it it's sad to see her so depressed and so downtrodden so you know get yourself a main character who can do both so the next comment comes in from my boy gary the larry gotta give credit to fujimoto for making both denji and asa relatable denji is someone with no big dreams and will be happy with just the essentials just like the most of the young audience and asa someone with no riz and can barely talk to others just like the audience how does he do it? And Gary the Larry, you're spitting for that one. Fujimoto just knows his audience so well that he can even insert them as characters into his own series. What the fuck? What the fuck is this? Era Mika com comic AOT picks it 211. What is showing up in my recommended? Fujimoto, <laughs> what was I saying? Fujimoto knows his audience so well, he even knows how to insert us into his own manga. How does he do it? Thank you guys so much for your comments, and remember to leave a comment on this video down below, and maybe we'll talk about it in next week's chapter review video. And while you're down in the description checking out that voting link, maybe leaving a comment on this video, remember to leave a big ol' thumbs up on this video and subscribe to my channel. Especially if you like Chainsaw Man related content, I can't seem to stop making it these days. There'll be some more variety soon, I swear to god. And real quick before we get into like the official review part, I put out a video a few days ago where I took that tremendously down bad Chainsaw Man quiz. You know, the uh, are you Makima's I ideal man quiz. It's a really silly and fun video, so I'll leave a link to that so you guys can check it out down in the description below. Alright, so we're gonna dissect these short 10 pages with surgical precision this week. Last week, we saw the Devil Hunter Club show up at the aquarium with Herculean confidence that they're gonna survive this Eternity Devil encounter because they have infinite provisions, and before Asa broke her phone, they had a way to call for help. But this week's chapter is a complete 180 from that. Haruka Isayumi keeps proving time and time again that it is in fact possible for there to be a completely unlikable Chainsaw Man character with his continued blame of Asa for not being able to get out of their situation because she broke her phone. Obviously, Asa, who is completely filled with sass and vitriol, says, you're Chainsaw Man, how about you get us out of this? And then Isayumi says, what the fuck are you talking about? I'm not Chainsaw Man, I never said I was Chainsaw Man. He totally implied that he was Chainsaw Man, but you know. What do we expect from no bitches Isayumi at this point? It turns out, Haruka Isayumi had a chainsaw starter surgically implanted into his chest because 
He's a Chainsaw Man fan. Get the fuck out of town. He says he's the closest person on the planet to actually being Chainsaw Man. He's president of the Chainsaw Man fan club. He has all of the Chainsaw Man merchandise. And wouldn't you know, he knows everything there is to know about Chainsaw Man trivia. And it was at this point where I had a terrible, terrible realization. Holy shit. This pathetic douchebag of a character we've all been collectively shitting on for the past, like, six weeks is us. Tatsuki Fujimoto literally says, this is what you guys look like. So now this begs the question, if the starter on Haruka Isayumi's chest is just a fake surgical implant, then who the hell was Fake Saw Man? I made a video a few weeks back going over some of your guys' amazing Chainsaw Man fan theories as to who Fake Saw Man could be. You guys left some awesome comments on one of my chapter review videos, and I highly suggest checking that out if you haven't already. I'll leave a link to that in the description below as well. But the answer is still, you know, up in the air. Some of your guys' theories were some crazy shit like Naito was controlling Denji or it was Hirofumi Yoshida based off of how he was holding uh, Yuko's body or it could have just been an entirely different devil altogether. Honestly, it could have just been Denji. But now that we know that Haruka Isayumi is just another pathetic loser like us, it's safe to say he's off the table. But to me, Yoshida is still the shystiest of them all. Between him secretly having a phone on him and casually name dropping the death devil, who the fuck is this guy? He can take on Quan Chi 1v1 in a fight, he's part of a secret organization following Denji, he's a public safety devil hunter, and he's only a high school student. The only thing that humaned him up a little bit in this chapter was that he said that even he himself had made his peace with death. I really have no theory or anything as to the true nature of Yoshida's existence, but you know, that's what I'm gonna leave up to you guys because you guys are the real chefs cooking up these awesome theories. So let me know if you have any ideas down in the comments below. So now Asa is depressed and sitting alone in the starfish tank. She's literally failed in everything she's tried to do in Chainsaw Man Part 2 so far and now she's going down a self-loathing spiral. She even discloses her power and that she was intending to turn Denji into a weapon even though Yoru told Asa if she told anyone she'd kill her back in Chapter 99. All Asa wants to do is live a normal, life, she wants to have friends, she wants to have a boyfriend, and she wants to keep her head down, but she keeps making mistakes along the way. It wouldn't surprise me in the slightest if she actually had something to do with the bad luck devil or something, or maybe she's cursed. But now in comes Denji, and he's about to show why he's still our best boy. Even though Denji and Asa are getting along like cats and dogs, he still comes by to check on her. Of course he doesn't hear any of Asa's mumbling about how she's a boar, or her lamenting on her power and how she was gonna turn Denji into a weapon. He was probably too bored listening to it. But he knows she's hungry, and she won't eat fish. So he happily offers a solution. What about starfish? And you already know how I feel about this one in particular. And just so you guys are aware, the leaks for what happens in next chapter are still out there on the internet. I unfortunately had it spoiled for me unintentionally on Twitter. So keep an eye out for that if you're trying to avoid that. Or if you want to see it, if you're one of those guys. You know, no judgment here. I'm just better than you. Nah, I'm joking. Or am I? Well, we were actually able to talk about a decent amount from just 10 short pages alone. That's about it for today's chapter review video. We're on next week. We're going to have another chapter in seven short days, so that means another chapter review next week as well. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Wow, 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 wow.